Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Mike here and I got Brian from Pink Society right over there. Welcome back to our channel. On the last episode, you guys saw the preview. Brian put a ton of work on this 94 Honda Civic. What are we gonna be doing today? Oh, I'm really excited about this episode because it's paint day and we're going to be color matching. Well, we're gonna take a look at the color code. We're gonna show you about variants, if there is any, how we match the color. And then we're gonna put a beautiful paint job on the roof. I'm gonna show you the technique of blending from the fenders all the way into the doors and of course lay down the paint on that beautiful hood and the bumper guys let's get started and getting things into the body shop we're going to first take a look at the paint code paint code is r-81-4 so we'll get milano red mixed up here then we'll do a spray out card now the spray out card was compared against the car and it's going to show me hey does this color match is it blendable so once i see that it's a good color match then i can go ahead and start on my roof now a good common question we'll get is well brian how come you guys are just not going to paint the whole entire car well that's really up to the customer and if the panels and the paint are still good on a particular vehicle then you really don't want to mess with an original finish you see you want to try to limit as much as possible without having to try and get into the whole entire car because like I said, when we go into the uh, rear quarter panels, then we need to remove the glass and then, well, it depends on how far the customer really wants to go with the job. So here we're laying down a beautiful first coat on the roof on all high solids clear it's two coats of clear that's all you need you don't need those five or six coats like the old days because these clear coats nowadays are thick enough to get the build that you need so i like to start with the roof first yeah the fenders and the doors were ready at this point however i don't like leaning over the side of the car even though this car wasn't too tall i like to focus my attention just on the roof alone and that's just what we did right here And as you can see, we got a beautiful off the gun finish using our Wacom 1.2 fluid tip. Now, moving along to the rest of the vehicle, here we're starting the tape job. And the tape job is very important for a clean job as well. So we'll be using our Milano Red and covering the whole entire fender on each side. And then we'll be blending the color into the door then this way you don't see any sort of transition color from the door to the quarter panel
here's just what we're talking about. Covering that full fender with Milano Red since we had body work and then using our door as a blend panel. Now these older hatches and well generally the older cars really have big doors especially if they're a coupe and we got a lot of blending room here and for a solid color they're very very easy to blend. Now we are blending the base coat and then a clear coat will go on top. Now I like to paint the hood off the car it's just better to get cleaner edges all around and you can really focus on getting a better job instead of having to lean over the fenders with just four bolts to take off the hood it makes life much easier and i like to paint all the parts together that are uh that mount next to each other it's a good practice to do them at the same time so you get the same exact color match so we'll finish up here i'm only showing you a couple coats but we did about maybe three coats total of base to get that perfect coverage Now we can see here our base is all flashed off it's doled up and we're ready for our clear coat now we're using that same setup the same paint gun the same color the same clear coat as we used on the roof and well we're going to be putting our first coat on not too wet because we don't want to get runs we just kind of want to do a medium coat so there might be some areas that aren't totally beautiful and that's okay because it's more of a glue the second coat that we'll see is going to stick on much better and go on much shinier so we'll, take, we'll follow the same process for the fenders and for the doors as well as the hood. And remember, only two coats is all we need to get a beautiful OEM finish and having enough film build or UV resistance. And after two coats of clear, it looks like it just rolled off the assembly line. It looks absolutely stunning. You can see why it's so important to remove every single trim off the vehicle to wrap that full clear around all of the parts. Now at this point, there was just one more piece of the puzzle left, which was the front bumper, which wasn't in bad condition, but it was repainted and had a lot of pits and fish eyes and just poor work. So we did two coats of base here and it covered very very well and we followed the same prep that we did in episode one of sanding it down then in using our red primer then we made sure to hit up the handles as well because they had some chips here and there and we want our job to look really good anything that leaves our shop we want to make sure that it leaves better than what it came as so we're going to go ahead and finish up here on the bumper it came out stunning and then we'll get this thing back assembled.
All right, guys, we just got a car back from the paint shop and it came out incredible. Brian did a great job as always, stripping down the hood, completely fixing the fender, blending the doors, also fixing the roof with all the cracking paint and bondo on the very top here, then spray it down with some beautiful Milano red. Now time for us to put everything back together. Talking about putting it back together, we have some brand new parts, front windshield molding, some clips over here. We have new bell molding, sash molding, a new emblem, and some clips here for the outside door handle. So let's go ahead and start by working on this driver door right over here. So while we got the car up in the air, we'll take the opportunity to put on these fender liners. Time to get started on the roof molding. So we're gonna install this window rubber right here and just slide it right in. It's a teague roof so it fits between the window and the roof. So we're ready to put the moon roof um, back on. We took it off so we can get full paint around the sunroof. And now we're gonna just pop it back on. Okay, so I gotta come over to you. Okay. There you go. Yeah. All right, guys, we got the windshield moldings, the roof moldings, and also the sunroof glass back on the car. So let's go ahead and get back to the door where it's supposed to start right from the beginning.
guys, for any type of refresh or restoration project, getting these new moldings is a must. Take a look at this sash molding right over here. This is a new one, and this is the used one. You can see a lot of wear and tear between the two. Now take a closer look at the bell molding. The used one and the new one. New one just got that matte black finish, and the old one, man, the finish is already starting to come off. For any type of project, guys, it is a must, a must, a must. So let's go ahead and get this molding back in the car. All right, the door's almost 100% back together. Last thing we're gonna put on on the outside of the door is the door handle. We went ahead and painted both door handles with this beautiful Milano red, along with some replacement clip. And let me show you where these go. All right, in the back of the door here, we have this door last rod. In the rod, we have this rubber grommet that goes on the exterior door handle. See, look at the old one here. It's all beat up and brittle. We want to go ahead and put a new one on to ensure the rod never gonna pops out. All right guys, so the doors are all back together. Last thing on the list, let's go and put on the bumper. Now before we put on the bumper, we gotta put on the front lip.
Hey guys, just like that, we are all done with this 1994 Honda Civic SI hatchback. And man, I gotta admit, Milano Red gotta be one of my favorite color. And Brian did an amazing job getting his car done for us. First, he stripped down the hood completely, did the repair on the roof, fenders, front bumper, and also blending both doors. And now this car is back to its original glory. And this wrapped up part two on the Civic SI Refresh. You guys like what you see? Make sure you give us a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. And don't forget to turn on that notification. And you guys want to support us, go to our website, www.accurahonaclassic.com to pick up some of our favorite apparel. My name is Mike, behalf of AXC Garage. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you guys on the next one. Yeah.